<laughs> Mama, why are you getting up? Okay. So. Then what's today? What is uh, we start on June, yeah, June 3rd is what we're starting with because that's when we left our yes. car at the airport. No, but what's today? Today's June 4th. Okay. 2017. So on June 3rd, we left uh, our car at the airport at Heathrow Airport after a fun day at Warner Brothers Studios and took the, the train in from the airport into London. Very excited to be leaving our dangerous, scary cars behind. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought our sense of danger was over because... Especially these two Wesleys. <laughs> because we were leaving dangerous drivers and just going on to public transportation. Yeah. So we got off the, the tube in uh, London south of the Thames and we walked to our hotel and checked in, went to dinner. Went to Indian dinner that Albert found out and we walked a long ways to get to that place. But I ate goat. Yeah, Ooh. Wesley and goat. Oh, yes. Jeffrey broke his glass, he liked it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Baby liked it. And then <laughs> we used it for a Greek restaurant. And then we went and we saw the shard. The yeah, so on the way back, we were just going to do the hotel, but Mama said, let's go by the shard. So we went by the shard. So we were thinking Which about... Which happens if you eat spicy Indian. <laughs> and it doesn't make sense. So we went to London on <laughs> subway station. It was actually, it was London Bridge yeah, station, and we talked to one of the guards there. And, uh, so we were going to go to Borough Market. We were going to potentially we're gonna go, go to London Bridge. Yeah, to, right well, we were going to go to London Bridge or um, we, what's the Harry Potter one? Uh, 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 the Millennium, Millennium Bridge. Bridge. We're gonna walk and across the river. At Brewer Market. Yeah, we're right there at the Shard, and that's right where the London Bridge is. So we thought, well, we'll go out to London Bridge and see it. We and wanted it, to see the Thames. So and then it started to, raining. Really hard. So we're like, oh, we're getting and soaked. Yeah, and all of a sudden, everyone was fully inspired to run back to our hotel. So we cut our plans short. Yeah. It's about a quarter mile, yeah, from the from London. Bridge station to our hotel is about a quarter mile. So we ran back through the rain, got soaking wet, came into the lobby. The receptionist looked at us with pity, and then we ran up. <laughs> we to our were room. dripping. Yes, <laughs> ran up to our rooms. It was only what ten o'clock, nine thirty, ten o'clock. Yeah, it was before ten. Yeah, yeah nine forty like about. So and we were like, tonight we're getting to bed early. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna get, we're gonna get so many late nights, crazy late nights. And early mornings every day, even though we keep going tomorrow, we won't go to bed late, but then it takes us longer to drive to the next spot. Okay, <laughs> okay so we got to keep this thing rolling. So we we all go to our rooms. Wesley, Heather, Amanda, and I um, had a little whiskey tasting from the Isle of Sky whis uh, whiskey. Isle of Sky whiskey. And then we got a knock on the door. Yeah, the so they were. So what, in, in the meantime, then we were picking up clothes because um, today we were going to go to the. Victoria and Kensington Gardens tea, and so we wanted to have our nicer clothes out. So I went downstairs to get an iron and ironing board from the front desk. And as I'm walking downstairs, I hear people screaming outside, and I see a mob come running around the building. They come in to the main lobby, and the manager of the building was there yelling for everyone, "Get inside! Get inside!" And, and about 50 people come pouring into the lobby, and she uh, says, "Quick! Quick! Close the door!" So I asked, what's going on? And she says, there's a potential terrorist attack. And they go racing up the stairs. Someone breaks the alarms. The alarm's going off in the hallway downstairs. And, and they go upstairs. And I'm trying to figure out, really, what's going on. And so I couldn't tell. I look outside. And I didn't see anybody else right then. So I went upstairs. And I just went to Wesley and Heather's. And I knocked on Albert's. They weren't there because they were in with Wesley and Heather. Wesley and Heather. And so I said, hey, just they just ran in here. I don't know what's going on, but just FYI, and, you know, in case you hear anything else. And, and Wesley assured me, and I brought up, you know, let's not jump to any conclusions. Um, could be something small. We don't know, but no need to panic. So I went and looked so some more. So then we all went into Mom and Papa's room, turned on the news, saw that a van had ran into some people right on the south side of London Bridge which is right around where we were about 30 minutes before or something. Because um, then I, I saw more people from our window when we step outside the door, there were some windows looking down onto the street and I could see coming the street from the borough market, I could see dozens of people running and screaming and then I saw police out there. And so then that's about the time you guys came over. And so um, then I, 
I kept looking out every once in a while, but the police are down there. And I see a couple of them there with the seven, uh, you know, some out or automatic weapons. And uh, they're yelling at people, getting them down the street, and you could just see people pouring down from the borough. And so, so Amanda told me she heard an explosion. Uh, she, Albert, get down! There's an explosion. <laughs> um, <laughs> which there wasn't. Um, <laughs> Gunshots. It was yeah, the but, Indian food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the but then, like yeah, but then, so I, I cracked open the window, and I, so I could listen, and and then after a few minutes, I heard multiple rounds of gunshots so it's like okay there's gunshots let's stay inside the room so here. we were ducked at first the man and i were ducked down in our room and then we all kind of went running hunching running over to mom and papa's room that's where we turned on the news kind of saw what was going on um so i took a little videos of the the police officers outside and the, some of the people running by and and so then it settled down after a while uh the police officers are still out there we and, sat in their room for 20 minutes or so probably yeah. and then Wesley's like okay well we're in a safe area so Wesley and Heather went to sleep <laughs> it's kind of like you're safe the police are around that was yeah. the, the comforting part is and if we thought they were all at London we didn't know it was at the market, Borough market. Yeah. we just thought it was at the so bridge. after 20-25 minutes we all kind of dispersed back to our rooms um, I was still interested in it so I turned on the news and Amanda and I were sitting in our room Amanda was laying on the floor for a little bit and hunched over by the window. We had the window cracked open because there was police officers right down below our window, like 15 feet down below our window. Um, so we could kind of hear what they were talking about and shouting at people. Um, so we, uh, Amanda and I sat in there probably for over an hour. Meanwhile, yeah, so we Wesley, up, Heather, Mom, Papa, Jeff, and I all went to sleep. Yeah, like, meanwhile, the news is coming out with more details. So the then news. after yeah, they had gone to sleep, we heard that there was something to do with Borough Market, which was just well, before locked. across the street well, from yeah. where our yeah. hotel was. Like, literally, you step out of our hotel. Yes, less, less than 100 Market. yards. But before yards it came on the news, I heard the police talking outside my window, right. talking about it. And then, so we could hear things happen down below us, and then about five, ten minutes later, we'd see it pop up on the news. So it's kind of this surreal, like, we're witnessing it and hearing it, and then seeing it pop up on the news. Um, and then, so uh, we've gone to bed, and then what was it about twelve forty? Well, and then and then and then there was a third incident. They said at an area about a mile and a half from our place. So then I was like, oh crap! Okay. Near where the shard was, where I had just had a picture no, taken of. No, not the third no, one. The Vox, was about a mile Vox, and a half. Vauxhall. Vauxhall, yeah. which okay. was about a mile and a half in the other direction. And that's uh, when they started saying it was terrorist. Like I heard all the police in the streets yelling to people that it was terrorist. Which. But, that Which they thing ended up before. being a separate <laughs> stabbing. But um, but then um, after a little while of news reporting, they, they reported that that, that Vauxhall, the third incident, was taken care of. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe these are, like, just not crazy incidents. And then I was getting super tired, and Amanda and I were like, okay, it's time for bed. And I was within, like, one minute of turning off the TV turning out the lights, and then we heard, bam, 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 bam. Oh and it was like, gosh. oh, rah. And so yeah. we, we heard, heard down. it on our doors, too, and we're like, are we in a dream? Yeah. What's going and on? then just the entire, the fire alarm siren starts going off in the whole building. And I open the door, and there's one of the um, hotel ladies, and she's just running out of the hall going, we're being evacuated, we're being evacuated. And I look past her, and there's like three police officers in the hall just slamming on people's doors. So meanwhile, the alarm goes off in our room and we were totally asleep. And so I hear this alarm and I'm thinking it's like a alarm that we had set or like something. Like a cell phone yeah. alarm. I, so I jump out I'm of bed. I'm thinking it's morning, like 6.30 in the morning, like time to get up for the day, like. Yeah, so oh the alarm, as the alarm's going off, I'm, I got up and I'm trying to, to find out where, how it actually went on and how to turn it off. So I go towards the bathroom, but then it sounds more towards the bed. And I'm, I'm lifting up covers. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn this off. And then that's when the, the pounding on the door comes. And I go to the door, and it's a police officer there. And in he like has got a riot gear, helmet yeah. with, a, with a shield and saying, it's time. You have to get out. We, we're evacuating this place. You have to get out now. And so... Well, and in the there's... meantime, like, we go... Amanda and I come out, like, we, like, quickly, and then we go out to Wesley and Heather's door. Bam, 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 bam. We're, we're pounding on them. Wesley, Heather, bam, 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 bam. as hard like as this, I can. The alarm was like, ah! 
Wesley. I'm literally like, 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 like slamming on the door. Wesley. Wesley puts his sleeping lot out. He didn't come out for us. He didn't come out to the lights went off. I'm literally like. So. Wesley and I were sleeping deeply. So. So, um, oh my gosh. after that, we are like, we're being evacuated. We gotta go. Um, and that was at, um, yeah. it was 1240, 50, 1241. like, all right, yeah. now I got all packed at up 1240 for everything. When, yeah, Amanda and I got our side bags, our backpacks, our main luggage. I mean, we left some stuff in the room, but then Wesley and Heather grabbed their bags. Mom and Papa didn't grab anything. We they, they, well, they we talked about it, but so our concern was because with their police and their thinking they thinking there's terrorists, we didn't want to be bringing bags questions. and backpacks out to further create a problem. And they said you need to come now. Your stuff is not important. You are your life is important. Get out of here now. It's like okay, so we're out of here. Meanwhile, Mama was having a hard time. It was just <laughs> stressful because well, they were asleep. So. And and then just having that, it was hard. So she was trying to get dressed, and she she said like her legs just turned to rubber, and she could hardly stand. And so we we said we're gonna meet you downstairs in the lobby. So the four of us ran downstairs with our luggage. We then the police were like, okay, go go go. So they filed everyone out in front of the hotel. So we're standing there waiting, and they start counting people. And we're like, wait wait like. We have four more family members inside the hotel, and they're like, "There's four terrorists inside." <laughs> <laughs> so no. they're like, "Okay, we'll get them. We'll count them when they come out." And so they go in down. They count. They were having issues counting people. They're like, their numbers were off. They kept miscounting. One of them learned how to count. So then they come out. Um, <laughs> so they had printed out. Cause they're comparing it's a sheet of all the people who were staying in the hotel. So. so there's finally, I think it was 78 hotel people. I think including staff including members. Including staff, yeah. Um, and so they filed us down across um, Southwark Bridge. Um, yeah, because they gathered us up on the street around the corner, and there's probably 10 different police officers there. There was more than and that. So, yeah, maybe 15. It was just a lot of So we were gathered against this building, and they said, okay, let's go. We had to go up these steps and then go across the bridge across the river, which was parallel to the London Bridge. Well, there's a rail bridge and London Bridge across from that. And everything had It was dark place. out, so it was yeah. hard to see stuff, but... And, yeah, and we're meanwhile just trying to get across and stay together. So we finally make it across the bridge. We'll try and abbreviate some of the things, but it took us we, up against the building. Right. There. So there was there was what it was more than just our hotel people, right? Yeah, there's more people. There's probably uh, hundred people. Yeah, right? there's about a hundred people on this side of the road. And then immediately, um Mama was like, Okay, we need to go we need to go find a, a, a cove. cove. That was Upper go, Tim Street is what it was. We, we need to go find a cove. And it was like we were like 10 seconds there on the street. Because she was worried about it raining and find a place to get out of the wind. And so it's, we uh, leave. So yeah. we <laughs> separated from the group, which a few of us protested. Like, we need to stay with the group. And I was like, no, we need to find a cove. Because um, so <laughs> <laughs> they said the hotel that, like, Mama was like, uh, let's where's the... Yeah, they, they told us that it probably whatever. wouldn't be till morning until we'd be yeah. back. At so that like, point, yeah. They just and it was like 1 a.m., so we're like, okay, we yeah, have so to be night, either like, sitting on the street or. So we tried to find a McDonald's. So we went and talked to a police officer. He showed us where, about a 15 minute walk from there, there was a 24 hour McDonald's. <laughs> and so it's taking a half an hour to get there. So we go. Yeah, well, we, like aren't the, we aren't the quickest walkers in the world. Well, plus we stopped at St. Paul's, so. Oh, yeah. So that was really cool. We. We got to walk past St. Paul's. There was like nobody around, and it's except just, for the bird lady feeding the birds. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and it was so, so beautiful. Just getting to see. We stopped for about ten minutes. Yes, yeah, so Albert had to stop, which is nice because it was really you know there's so much adrenaline going. It was nice to. I was to like, walk, we needed. This is the stop. one time in our life where we will be in front of St. Paul's with no one around. And a terror attack. And a terror attack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So yeah, because this has got to be one thirty in the morning by then. You know. Yeah, exactly. Is, yeah, yeah. We have photos and we can figure out the timeline. Yeah, ready? Yeah. I've got the exact time. Okay, so about. so we we paused there for about ten minutes. There was a couple other people from the hotel there, and then we headed off to McDonald's. It took a long time. Where so the four of us are trucking luggage. Four people didn't have luggage. And plus the McDonald's didn't have any, the McDonald's didn't have any ch seats for us to. Sit yeah, so we finally get there. It's like this long journey. We're finally like, oh. McDonald's, and then we look, and it's like this little there's no shop bathroom front, and no, yeah, and it's just like a counter, and that's it. And we're like, ah, oh, no. crap. So <laughs> Mama asked if, if she could use the employee bathroom, and the, the manager says, no, can't do that. Sorry, 
But if you go down about five more minutes this way, there's another McDonald's. And it's up at 24 hours, and there's three floors and bathrooms and all so that. So we get down it's there. And so we was... walk another 10, 15 <laughs> minutes. We get down there. Um, it's three stories. They had one story blocked off. But we found a little cove. We found our cove. Yeah. Um, <laughs> down was, in the was, basement. And there's of a ton McDonald's. of people there, and there was a lot of drunk. There was a lot of drunk. Teenagers. It was very, very hot, and it was drunk <laughs> people everywhere. Throwing so nuggets. Not homeless. They, they're dressed real nicely. They'd been out partying, and it was Saturday night. And so. so we found our little cove in the you back. You drove room. my nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> and so we we sat there. We ordered some burgers and fries, and um, just kind of put our heads on the table. Some of us, and we were trying to figure out the hotel, any hotels in the area. So Papa and Wesley went up, and they called some premier inns and called several Marriott the they, they or were whatever. Because everything in the area. As the, the whole section of town that was evacuated, those people who were in hotels Holiday Inn or in apartments or whatever was evacuated, <laughs> they had to be, they went to all the local hotels for that space. So they were quickly filling up. And then, as I call Marriott, it ends up being so long that we finally hung up because it was like home. several minutes waiting. So so then it's like, So okay, we're in like, like, it's whatever, 2.30, 3 in the morning. Meanwhile, Lauren uh, Angler, Angler gives me a call. I could tell it was a California number, so I answered it. And, and oh, yeah, because right be about in the middle of when Amanda and I were just watching TV, I posted a link to it and just was like, hey, on Facebook, this is happening right outside our window. Um, you know, I, And then right as we were leaving, right as the police were evacuating us, I just posted to Facebook like, hey, police are evacuating us. We're being moved somewhere else. So then and some we people... We texted the family and, and different people that know what's going on. So some of the news had already spread of what was going on. So then Lauren called because she had a friend who lives in London, and so. So we were trying to figure out hotels, figure out if we could meet up with someone that someone that other people knew. Because the police thought it wouldn't, it would not be before like seven or eight in the morning that we'd be able to get back to our hotel. And when we had left, you know, some people in their pajamas, some people, you know, I mean, four of the crew had their bags, but the other four of us didn't. So it's not like we could just pick up and move somewhere because even though they had their bags they didn't have everything yeah. so we sat at mcdonald's for an hour probably more we, we, were, no, we were there from we were there from One almost two three. till four almost we were there almost there till, we were there for two and a half hours oh yeah because it's four o'clock when hours. we were leaving hours. we decided hours. to leave there so, uh, yeah, i so fell asleep kind of on the bench me and uh, pat everyone was had their yeah, we were kind of just McDonald's. Weighing um, against stuff. Laying against stuff. And just kind of resting trying, and Because it was so exhausting. Um, and then we finally, we tried to catch a cab. We tried to get an Uber. None of that worked out. Um, the, all the taxi cabs were gone. So all we the hotels so, were filled up. So I finally called one other premier, and that person that um, took some time to help, the, uh, the manager who I spoke with. Because we were already staying in a premier hotel. Yeah, so he called around, he put me on hold for five minutes, but he called around and finally found a premier hotel that would take us. Right. And so they had taken about half the people from our other hotel and they said, we'll take you, come on. So it was like, great. So it once was we had like, the address, like a mile and a half away. Yeah, that, mile yes, and a half. it was 1.8. Yeah. So it was almost two miles. It was by the time so we, we were trying to catch a taxi or a Uber. That didn't months. work out. We so we're like, walk. okay, we're just gonna walk it. It was gonna be a thirty-five minute walk. We were already exhausted. Our feet were sore, but it was like we gotta Man, go. And, and the sun, there's like already pajamas. light coming up in yeah. the sky. I was in my sweatpants and Yeezys. Um, <laughs> 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 jammies and shoes. And so we set go. off. We were all carrying our luggage. Just set off for a 35, 40 minute walk, and it's like, okay, we're just gonna do this. Um, so we walk all across London again. Well, that portion of London at night, um, it's about four thirty in the morning. Um, yeah, because like four fifty sun sunrise, the so the sky's already yeah. yeah it's, it was like oh crap. Yeah. So then um, we finally make it to the premier inn, and they said they were gonna have rooms for us, but they did. But because they said they 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 come take us, and it sounded like they're gonna have a room, at least one room for us, but they didn't. They gave right, away the last room. They said right before we had gotten there, a bunch of people from the other hotel had taking up all the rooms. So, so if we follow But they were super nice. Great they were super nice to hurry up and get there before the selfish people do. But right. anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got there and they said when they let us we could, we could sit in the lobby or we could go down into the restaurant area which is on the one floor down. 
So we decided to go to the restaurant. They were area. super nice. Oh, they, they were very, very nice. So we moved tables around. They they brought the the duvets and the and pillows and some sheets and all in the yeah. breakfast room area. So we so. just moved tables and chairs around and started piling around. There was one the lights kind of, on low. It still was. It, there was music blasting in there, so they turn off the lights, turn off the music. The guy even vacuumed where we moved the chairs from because it, it was pretty grody. Yeah, it, but I mean, it was a nice restaurant, but it yeah. just hadn't been vacuumed there. And so, so he, he was he was a little very he was kind of freaking out. He's like, I don't know how to set up bedding for people in a in a dining room. <laughs> and like, don't worry, we'll take care of it. And we just started laying down. I, yeah, we all conked out. It was about five o'clock, and then he said it around seven. Um, he's like around Rick seven. Seven. Yeah. Well, and then he said around seven that the police would probably be letting us back into our old hotel. That's yeah. what the hotel yeah, number was so like breakfast was at seven we're in the breakfast area that's fine we'll have to get up then and then so we slept yeah. for about two hours yeah i mean heather's alarm like went an hour and a half twice yeah, at 6 yeah. Yeah. Uh, i well, forgot that i had even set the alarm yeah, for the like following day and yeah so that was a six forty-five, and so i that was after an hour and a half i had been sleeping but it's like okay we got to get up so i Got up, got dressed, went to see if the hotel was available. It wasn't available. The police were still blocked off the area. So I came down, started waking people up. Had protests from a couple people. I was going, can I just stay here a little longer? <laughs> but it was. Everyone was exhausted. And but then there was people sl- starting to come down for breakfast. Because oh, it was yeah. So <laughs> we're like, now we have a couple people, Mom and Heather, <laughs> laying on the ground. And people are like, kind of like walking through the maze and like getting their bowls of cereal and i'm like guys like (laughs) looked like 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 a (laughs) homeless shelter i was laying on like one of those they have like little benches with tables and then chairs so i was laying on one of the little benches but like the central but like the central and so like when you come in you just see this sleeping person (laughs) but head is going just cover me up they won't know it's me i just want to rest and and mama just was off the edge so the aisle could walk yeah. by and go around so them and go get food and we yeah. got up so we all had breakfast kind of i didn't really yeah i mean it's yeah, like the breakfast after, is our after, then, breakfast time after prying heather so and mama out of then breakfast. we sat there till nine oh, o'clock not be alone. so yeah. we just like sat in the dining room waiting because they said they might kind of just looking homeless well yeah. at, at eight o'clock they said the wall that some yeah. people, had, some one person had checked out, and that they were going to make the room ready for us, so we could at least go lay down, even if it's all of us in inside there. hotel number two. Yeah, and so the um, hotel we slept on the floor was right. Finally, had a couple of rooms because people yeah. were leaving. And finally, yeah. just yeah. by just literally, yeah. we're just repeating it over and over again. Just before nine, they said there's actually two rooms, and they let us into those two rooms, and and so we had a chance to at least shower up. So it was what? Nine. It was nine. We yeah. at nine. Said we'll we'll sleep till <laughs> eleven. Yeah, so we got so. like two Because we knew we had tea at one thirty in Kensington, so we were like, okay, we'll sleep until 11, we'll try and leave by 12. And our Tower Tower of London tour was at 10, we knew we weren't going to make that. So we ended up doing that, we slept. So there was no blanket at first, so I just laid down with a bath towel. <laughs> <laughs> but then a lady dropped off blankies, yes, which was and nice. I properly tucked out Because I went to Albert the lobby and, and asked they for tucked me in. Did you know I went to the lobby and asked for the blankets and Yes, thank you, Mama. I was gonna sleep you just asked, fine with my I bath in, towel. We in <laughs> it. So, so then, then, then yeah. we got up, everybody yeah. took showers, and it's got ready. We decided to go. Oh, Wesley, Amanda, and Heather all snuggled in yeah, one bed. Yeah, it was a Heather sandwich, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I had Amanda snuggled on one side, I had Wesley on the other side. Aww. So then, I snuggled so. Completely. So then we'll kind of <laughs> skip around. I mean, skip forward a little bit. So then we woke up. Um, we so realized that forward. a lot of people, <laughs> well, at the rate yeah. we're going, at skipping forward. Yeah. Um, so, so, so we I checked up. again. It still wasn't available to go back to the hotel, and so. So then we, as we were getting ready, we were realizing, oh, I don't have this. I don't have hair gel. I don't have a comb. So I, I don't have to toothbrush. So I remembered to grab all my bags, but I didn't grab glasses or contacts. So oh, I and that was my wedding things. rings. Right, right or when. Or my wedding rings. Right when um, my my mom mom we're being evacuated, mom's like telling the police officer they forgot their glasses, and he's like. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he didn't say that. More important. Than yeah, he's glasses. like, you need to be safe, but he's like, lady, don't <laughs> worry about it. No. <laughs> so like the whole night as we're walking, Wesley and, and Heather. in the morning, I'm walking around squinting so I can try to well, see both things. Both Wesley and Heather forgot their glasses. And so. Wesley forgot his glasses. Wesley. So anyway, so <laughs> as we're getting ready, we're getting ready for the tea. So we're kind of patching together 
Oh, I have gel. I have a comb. I have Because they have their luggage. Yeah. We didn't have any luggage. So we have a couple of shirts yeah. to Pat and Jeff. Yeah. So they, yeah. So they, so they, they look change. nice. She had to fix my hair a little bit and loan yeah. me a little yeah. makeup. She loaned Heather a little okay, makeup. Okay, let me use some of her oh, makeup. Nice. Albert, let me wear his glasses. Yeah, we <laughs> realized that Heather could use my sunglasses. So she to like. So extent. I'm like, okay, this she is like, like halfway in between what my glasses and not wearing anything. I didn't have. Wear. I had left the shirt I wanted to wear in the bathroom at the old hotel in my shoes, so I was wearing Yeezys in a sweat. <laughs> then, we <laughs> took, then we took the yeah. Uh, we were wearing our rumpled clothes that we yeah, had I mean, worn. They still look nice. I, I, mean, I just put my clothes on over my pajamas, which I still have on. So, so it was just we, we all kind of patched <laughs> ourselves together, and we're like, okay, we're going to tea. <laughs> so so we're kind I of tea in my pajamas. Right. You did. So yeah. we, we went, we had tea, we had an amazing tea, great time, skip over tea. Um, then to go to we decided to go to the Albert and Victoria Museum. Realized that wasn't. But we went to the gift shop. It took too long. So then we thought, well, oh, by then. But then I called to the hotel and they said, okay, we found that that you can get to the hotel. You can get to hotel one the and first hotel one, two. But you're not going to be able to stay at either of them. So, so we had to pick up our So we were going to go to the war rooms, but like, oh crap, we better get a hotel for tonight, which is where we are right now. Um, so, so we then, took the subway, we figured out which way to go, some of the lines were shut down because it was Sunday and repairs and everything, but we took the subway, we decided we better get a hotel so while we, we went can. back to Hotel 2, got, we got our things. So where we got off for, from, for Hotel 2 is about a third, about four tenths of a mile from the subway to the hotel. So we walked all the way down to the hotel, then we had to walk down almost a mile to the, <laughs> the back to the first hotel. The police had to edit, escort us through, uh, across the police lines into the hotel. Oh, well, once we had gotten separate from Hotel 2, we yeah, then, then we walked to Hotel 1. Which was still pretty far. I mean, oh, so yeah. it's... Uh, had, back across the... Bridge. Alistair More Bridge, mile, not Alistair. Yeah, that's where we are right now. Yeah, mile and a half. So then we we were going to take the subway back, or Uber, but, but then... Oh, we were like the last people, I think, to check out from Hotel 1. Yeah. Because they were standing in the lobby like, oh, we've been waiting for you. So we went up, got our stuff. Then we were like, okay, now we need to make it. And at Hotel 2, they had found us Hotel 3. Yeah, so we asked them, Mama asked them if they would do that. So they went and made the reservation. So they found Hotel 3, who agreed to take us. Uh, and so then we were going to take the subway or Uber or whatever and ended up, it was the several subway miles. All the subways were close. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was like, like two or three, it's probably two or three miles from <laughs> subway, subway number one, <laughs> hotel number one, to uh, Hotel 3. Hotel three. So we we trekked all the way across another all our bags, new part so. of London with carrying our bags. Oh yeah. Well, I got interviewed <laughs> our by our radio. Yeah, Papa got interviewed uh, on, when we were leaving the hotel. There's lots so of newscasts. Our poor it bags have just the trails that they have traveled. Yeah. Um, it oh, bags the so so like, cases, yeah. yeah. Snapshot summary: We start at Hotel One. We go to Hotel Two after some time in between, and then we leave Hotel Two to go to T, we go back to Hotel 2, go back to Hotel 1, <laughs> and then go to Hotel 3. <laughs> That's where we so are now. This was Very the walking tired. tour of the premier inns of London. And, and then we, we go to Tower Bridge, we walk down, we got yeah. dinner at a pizza place, which was really nice because we've had like... Yeah, we almost went down to Big know. Ben and stuff tonight, and it was like 8.30, and then, and then we the realized that the subways closed. are closed, and we were just like... No. This was for dinner, and we're like, we're gonna go to dinner, and we're gonna have dinner at like nine, nine thirty, and we're, we're just like, like, no, we haven't even had a real meal. I mean, like tea, <laughs> but that's not even like a full meal. It's like four little tiny quarters of so a sandwich. So now it's ten, so it's like, almost ten forty, oh and gosh, we're finally good. wrapping up. And we've walked over ten day. miles today, about yeah. ten miles. Yeah. So terrorists happened. Um, yeah, there, there 40, are forty seven. Forty something. Ten. When we passed by to get to Hotel One. To finally get our original luggage. There's luggage. already people putting flower bouquets, building a memorial for the people who have died. It was really, really sad. Well, there are seven people dead, 40-some people injured. 48. 48 Wasn't that Bell Hotel lobby lady? She said that someone she knew got hit No, or that was from a different one. She got hit in the Westminster terrorist oh. attack a couple months ago. Of, of one of their workers. Yeah, so three right. terrorists were killed. The seven other bystanders were killed 48 went to hospitals with yeah so injuries. three guys in the truck ran over some people came out started slashing people inside the borough market and they were wearing fake bomb vests to increase their scare that would be so terrifying 
Yeah, so we Just would have gone. In with knives so if it hadn't have rained, we would have mm-hmm. gone probably to get ice cream in the borough market right at the time that. The yeah, because we were going to go on happened. the bridge. Yeah, what all we been would have right been around. on the bridge potentially when the crash when the or in borough or borough. in borough market and so one or the other. So yeah. So, so we're very really thankful. Us. Yeah. We're very because thankful. of the rain, the twenty minutes of rain that we had, we were protected from everything that happened. Yeah. So we had a great day being together. It was a challenging time, but it was really good. And uh, now we are ready to get some sleep. So that, that is, is our story. The grossest story of the London Bridge terror attacks. Twenty four hours in the gross family. It was a doozy. Everyone, we did it. And we're never going to watch this again.